back to the hair I wear for wigs by pattyscurls.com. I'm Lauren. This is the last wig I have in a series of Beltrus wig reviews for y'all. This is Columbia and the color I am showing you is chocolate with caramel. Now this is definitely the darkest color of the bunch. I've gone all the way from like platinum blonde and now to chocolate with caramel which is a medium chocolate brown with light caramel brown highlights and a darker brown root. So overall a warmer dark brown. As you can see the base is pretty close to the base that I'm wearing on my topper. This is the John Renault synthetic top style in color 627. This is the 18 inch. Um, it is my everyday topper that I wear. I've worn it for a lot of my reviews. As you notice, it's probably um, looking a little less voluminous than it was. I've been wearing this for about three months straight, which is, I think, great for a synthetic topper, but it's nearing the end of its life. Um, still some wear in it, but not as voluminous as before. Still love it, my everyday go-to topper. But more about uh, Columbia. Okay. Like I said, this is a synthetic wig. It is heat friendly, although with the beautiful waves in this piece and just kind of that tousled beach wave look, I don't know if I'd put any heat on this. I'd be afraid to uh, straighten out any of these beautiful waves. And this piece I think is meant to just be worn kind of flowy and free. So I would be very cautious about putting heat on this one. Maybe you could uh, knock some frizz out of the ends if it ever got a little frizzy. All right, let's talk about the cap construction. This is a hand-tied lace front and it has a lace part. So you're only gonna be able to part it on the left-hand side with this one. Um, the options are a little limited for your part and then it has the wefting, which gives you a lot of stretchiness in the back. It has a velvet nape and adjustable tab and also has adjustable ear tabs so you can get a nice snug fit. Okay, let's talk about the length on this one. The sides are about 10 inches. From the nape down is seven, the back is 14 inches, and the weight is 4.4 ounces. So um, to create all those waves, they had to put a lot more hair in there. Okay, let me go get her on so you can see what she is all about. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Bell Tresses Columbia. Okay, here she is. This is Belle Truss's Columbia in color chocolate with caramel. Now, the first thing I notice is just kind of the unfinished kind of blunt ends of this piece. Um, it just plays into the wave pattern that it has. And some of the pieces are, see like this one is wanting to just kind of stick out. So you definitely need to go in there and kind of play with this wave a little bit. You could tame it down with some water, just wet it and kind of encourage these pieces to go where you want them to go. But overall, I love a nice, like tousled, voluminous, beachy wave look, and you definitely get this with this piece. She reminds me a lot of the wig Rose Ella that I reviewed a few months back. Same length, same curl pattern to it. Um, I think this would be beautiful. I do love this color. It's dark and it's rich, but if you had one of the Beltrust uh, colors that is more highlighted, I'm sure the highlights in this piece would stand out beautifully with this wave. So I'd be curious to see what it looks like in maybe like a mocha with cream color. Um, okay, so you can definitely get an ear tuck with this piece. Um, get it behind your ear. Of course, that's going to make it a little bit more poofier once it's all back. Um, I like it just free flowing and loose. Uh, the fit is an average cap size and it is fitting true to size. The ear tabs are where they're supposed to be. The nape is not bunching at all. For styling options for this one, you could definitely kind of twist this piece back out of your face like this. And then you have all this fun curl to play with. Um, or you could just do that ear tuck. I always like to pin one piece back. I don't know, that's just kind of my thing. Um, but again, you can get all of that nice wave in there and it's super cute. Uh, this again is a hand tied lace front. So you have a very natural um, hairline right there. Now the bell truss pieces don't give you a lot of lace uh, below the knots. So you could pluck a few of these knots um, out and create a more defined part line and then put some concealer in there. Um, but that's just the name of the game when you have uh, a darker color, you're gonna be able to see those knots like that. 
but it is a lace front, so you could wear it back off your face a little if you wanted to, but I think this piece just needs to be down and flowy and all its beautiful waviness. All right, so to keep the waves intact, I would definitely wet it after each wear and kind of just go in and encourage the curl in the direction that it was meant to go and then let it air dry. And then the next time you wear it, it should be beautiful. All the curls should be intact and you can just throw it on and go. Okay, let me give you a 360 spin here of Columbia. There's the back. And then the side. And there it is. Okay, she is just super fun and voluminous. I love it. Okay, if you need Columbia in your life, head on over to Wigs by Patty'sPearls.com. The manufacturer is Belle Trust. The style is, yes, the style is Columbia, and the color I'm showing you is chocolate with caramel. I will see you guys next time.